Homo habilis. Homo habilis, meaning handyman, lived in East Africa between 2.4 and 1.4 million years ago. This species is recognized as one of the earliest members of the genus Homo and represents a transitional form between Australopithecus and later human species. Its brain size averaged between 600 and 700 cubic centimeters. Homo habilis used stone tools known as the Olduin industry for cutting meat, processing plants, and preparing food. The species had long arms, a small body, and a projecting face, but smaller teeth and a more rounded skull than earlier hominins. Homo habilis likely lived by scavenging animal remains and collecting plant resources. It used tools to break bones, access marrow, and cut vegetation. Fossil evidence indicates that Homo habilis inhabited open woodland and savanna regions, adapting to ecological change in East Africa. Although its direct evolutionary connection to later humans remains uncertain, Homo habilis marks the first known example of tool use in cognitive development within the genus Homo, forming the foundation for later evolutionary stages. Homo erectus. Homo erectus lived from about 1.9 million to 110,000 years ago and is one of the longest existing human species. Fossils have been found across Africa, Asia, and parts of Europe, showing a wide geographic range. Homo erectus had an average brain size of about 900 cubic centimeters, larger than that of Homo habilis, and a body structure similar to modern humans, with long legs and shorter arms suited for walking long distances. The species produced more advanced stone tools called the Aculean industry, characterized by hand axes and cleavers. Evidence suggests that Homo erectus learned to control fire, which may have been used for cooking and protection. It also likely hunted and gathered food in organized groups. The species occupied diverse environments, including grasslands, forests, and coastal regions. Homo erectus is generally considered a direct ancestor of later species, such as Homo heidelbergensis and Homo sapiens. Its combination of toolmaking, endurance, and adaptability marks an important stage in the development of the genus Homo. Homo antecessor. Homo antecessor lived in Europe between 1.2 million and 800,000 years ago. Fossils discovered at Atapuerca in Spain represent some of the earliest evidence of human presence on the continent. The species had a brain size of about 1,000 cubic centimeters and a body similar in height and proportion to modern humans. The facial structure included a projecting nose and less pronounced brow ridges than earlier species. Stone tools and animal bones found at the sites indicate that Homo antecessor used tools for cutting meat and processing materials. Some researchers consider Homo antecessor a possible common ancestor of Homo heidelbergensis, Homo neanderthalensis, and Homo sapiens while others view it as a regional variant of Homo erectus. The fossils show evidence of butchering, suggesting a mixed diet and possibly early instances of social behavior. Environmental evidence indicates that the species adapted to temperate climates and variable conditions in Pleistocene Europe. Although its taxonomic status remains debated, Homo antecessor represents an early phase of human occupation outside Africa and an important step toward later Eurasian populations. Homo heidelbergensis. Homo heidelbergensis lived between approximately 770,000 and 200,000 years ago in Africa, Europe, and Western Asia. The species is often regarded as a transitional form between Homo erectus and later species such as Homo neanderthalensis and Homo sapiens. Its brain size averaged about 1,200 cubic centimeters, close to that of modern humans. Fossil evidence, including the Mauer jaw from Germany and specimens from Africa, shows a strong, thick bone body adapted for physical activity. Homo heidelbergensis used Aculean tools, hunted large animals, and may have constructed temporary shelters. Archaeological findings suggest organized hunting strategies, including the use of wooden spears found in Schoening in Germany. The species also demonstrated improved communication and planning abilities compared to earlier humans. Climatic variation during the Middle Pleistocene led Homo heidelbergensis to inhabit both cold and temperate environments. Its populations in Africa likely gave rise to Homo sapiens, while those in Europe evolved into Neanderthals. Homo heidelbergensis represents a key evolutionary link, showing both anatomical and behavioral traits that bridge early and modern humans. Homo bodoensis. Homo bodoensis lived in Africa between about 600,000 and 200,000 years ago. The species name was proposed in 2021 to describe Middle Pleistocene fossils previously assigned to Homo heidelbergensis, or Homo rhodesiensis. The classification is based on remains such as the bodo skull from Ethiopia, which show a mix of archaic and modern features. The brain size averaged around 1,200 cubic centimeters, similar to Homo heidelbergensis. The species had a large face, thick brow ridges, and robust cranial bones. Researchers suggest that Homo bodoensis represents the African population ancestral to modern humans, while European populations of the same period evolved into Neanderthals. Stone tools associated with the species include a Chilean hand axes and flakes used for butchering animals.
environmental evidence indicates adaptation to varied climates and landscapes during the Middle Pleistocene. Although Homo bodoensis is not yet widely accepted, it was proposed to simplify human taxonomy in this time range by replacing multiple overlapping names. Its fossils provide insight into the evolution of early Homo sapiens in Africa, Neanderthal. Homo neanderthalensis, commonly called the Neanderthal, lived between about 400,000 and 40,000 years ago in Europe and Western Asia. The species had a brain size averaging 1,450 cubic centimeters, often larger than that of modern humans. Neanderthals had a low, elongated skull, strong brow ridges, and a robust body adapted to cold climates. Fossil and archaeological evidence show that they produced stone tools, controlled fire, hunted large animals, and used pigments and ornaments. Burial sites suggest symbolic or social behavior. Genetic studies confirm that Homo neanderthalensis and Homo sapiens interbred, contributing DNA to modern human populations outside Africa. Neanderthals lived in varied environments, ranging from open steppe to forested regions, adjusting to glacial and interglacial cycles. Their disappearance around 40,000 years ago is linked to climate instability and competition with expanding populations of Homo sapiens. Despite extinction, Homo neanderthalensis remains important for understanding human adaptation, culture, and shared ancestry within the genus Homo. Denisovans. The Denisovans lived between approximately 400,000 and 50,000 years ago in Asia. They are known primarily from genetic evidence and a small number of fossils, including teeth, a finger bone, and a jawbone discovered in Denisova Cave in Siberia and on the Tibetan Plateau. Their exact physical appearance remains uncertain, but DNA analysis shows that Denisovans were a sister group to Neanderthals and shared a common ancestor with them about 600,000 years ago. Their genome indicates interbreeding with Homo sapiens and Neanderthals, contributing genes related to immunity and high-altitude adaptation in modern human populations. Denisovans produce stone tools and may have occupied diverse environments from cold steppe to mountainous regions. Fossil and genetic data suggest that they were widespread across Asia, with contact extending to Southeast Asia and Oceania. The limited fossil record makes it difficult to define them formally as a species, but they represent a major branch of the human lineage. Denisovans demonstrate the genetic and geographic complexity of late Pleistocene human evolution. Homo naledi. Homo naledi lived in southern Africa between about 300,000 and 200,000 years ago. Fossils were discovered in the Rising Star Cave system in South Africa in 2013. The species had a brain size of around 465 to 610 cubic centimeters, smaller than that of earlier species such as Homo erectus. Despite its small brain, Homo naledi showed modern human like features in its hands feet, and legs, suggesting it walked upright and could manipulate objects with precision. Other features, such as curved fingers and a small body, indicate partial adaptation to climbing. Evidence from the cave suggests that Homo naledi intentionally placed bodies in chambers, which may represent early mortuary behavior. Stone tools have not been directly associated with the species, but its anatomy indicates potential tool use. Homo naledi lived during a period when other species, including Homo sapiens and Homo neanderthalensis, already existed. Its combination of primitive and modern traits provides important information about the diversity of the genus Homo in the late Middle Pleistocene. Homo floresiensis. Homo floresiensis, also known as hobbits, lived on the island of Flores in Indonesia between about 100,000 and 50,000 years ago. The species is known from fossils discovered in Liangbua Cave in 2003. Adults stood about one meter tall and had a brain size of around 400 cubic centimeters, comparable to that of earlier species such as Australopithecus. Despite its small stature, Homo floresiensis made and used stone tools for hunting and processing food. The tools are similar in style to those used by Homo erectus. The species likely descended from an isolated population of Homo erectus that underwent island dwarfism. Fossil evidence shows adaptation to limited resources in a tropical environment. Animal remains found with the fossils indicate that Homo floresiensis hunted small elephants and large birds. It coexisted with modern humans in Southeast Asia before disappearing around 50,000 years ago. Homo floresiensis provides evidence that small-brained humans survived late into the Pleistocene, expanding knowledge of diversity within the genus Homo, Homo sapiens. Homo sapiens emerged in Africa around 300,000 years ago and is the only surviving species of the genus Homo. Fossil evidence from sites such as Jebel Irhoud in Morocco shows a combination of modern and archaic traits. The average brain size is about 1,350 cubic centimeters. Anatomically, Homo sapiens has a rounded skull, small brow ridges, and a lighter skeletal structure compared to earlier species. Advanced tool industries, symbolic artifacts, and the use of pigments appear early in its record. By about 70,000 years ago, Homo sapiens began migrating out of Africa, 
eventually populating all continents. The species adapted to diverse environments and developed complex languages, social structures, and cultures. Interbreeding occurred with other human groups such as Neanderthals and Denisovans. Over time, Homo sapiens created agriculture, permanent settlements, and global societies. Its ability to use abstract thought, planning, and communication defines modern behavior. Homo sapiens represents the culmination of evolutionary development within the genus Homo, continuing as the dominant human lineage today.